the Toriko manga 339, I got, just gotta say, the mangas were early and they were very satisfying to read today. Uh, because this, I'm beginning to dig back the Toriko groove that are getting back to us, it's getting fast and good. What is happening here is that Midora is unleashing his meteor spice on the base that actually turns out to be uh, Neo's spaceship uh, that we saw a very long time ago. And although that should have been pretty obvious, I didn't realize it until now. So Yoe takes um, Midora away through his Tokage that is actually so fast that it can instantly teleport them to Area 2, a sea, sea forest where they actually can stand on uh, ground that is waves, or waves that looks like grounds. But and a, a good thing happened when Midora attacked the Neo members. Well, it turns out that not only did he, um, I think maybe, reverse Sao's mutation with his bat wings, but it actually destroyed his bacteria, or the brainwashing in the gourmet cells, as Mansam once said it was. Sao's, the legendary thirst, first rate ki king of chefs, is back on the good side. And Tepe realized that and takes. So, and tries to take South away from the base, but not before asking if where the golden cook cookware is, meaning that Joa has it. Elsewhere on the sea forest, uh, Joa shows a technique that we saw from Condor Windows a time ago: warp kitchen. Apparently, a pay ability only few uh, can access. Some maybe if they have eaten pear or another or if they are or maybe did he say it was different consciousness here came well not the logic here come the explanation in Toriko that I can never ever understood no matter how many times I read it but um, it is similar to the power of the back channel and the world of the dead and it's something only few can access given to the fact that uh, Condor Windows and Joa are food spirits possessing a living body. Ah, it's safe to say that only a food spirit can have the, grant this power. Yeah, and it also appears that his that Joa's food spirit, no, no, appetite demon really is different than him. Maybe, maybe the fact that he can master his demons is not the fact that he has eaten Akashia's food course. Or wait, well, he did know the blue nitros. So maybe he did. But maybe more of the fact that the demon and him are cooperating in some way. The strange thing is, Yoa is affably and very, uh, well, out there. Well, not. He is mean but secretly polite, while his demon is rough and very uh, aggressive with his talking. And so the, the two. At first, I thought jo Yoa was uh, scared of fighting Midura. Turns out he's not. No, he's gonna fight Midura with the, his uh, kitchen knife. Now that he has a warp kitchen, he describes that as time flows differently in it. Time has almost stopped. Which is why King Condor Windows could prepare that fi fish. He had not seen it at all, so maybe he spent, I don't know how many time it felt like they're trying to perfect it. And here in this fight, the fight can go on for an instant, but for them it can be forever. But Midura says he has a full course menu and he plans to tell it after taking it to Yoa to his grave. Elsewhere, uh, Yo, you know, remember Jiro's uh, mm, uh, incredible big bang knocking? Turns out it was not a knocking, well knock, it was an uppercut that actually sent the beast that is revealed to be called a Neo up into space. But I'm actually curious, can that creature survive in space? I mean, it's an all-eating creature, maybe it can even eat the spice, sorry. But that's not confirming. It's Shishi who confirms that the Neo, that the appetite demon that resides in Akashia is called Neo. Once again showing why Neo called himself Neo, because of that demon. And according to Shishi, an, an Akashia with a fully revived Neo is unstoppable. Not even the blue Nitro can defeat it. And technically we already saw that. I mean, we just one part of Neo bite bit news in half. And uh, apparently 
I don't know if this is a picture showing as an explanation, but apparently Akashi and Neo are now on a rampage too, because it seems like he has actually begun to devour the blue Nitro too. Uh, and now Ak and it's revealed that Akashi has three tongues. So what can they do now? Are we really heading towards the final battle? Will this, or after this arc, will this next arc be the last? Huh. I'm still a bit confusing, but um, as my brother said, what is, uh, are we heading towards the final battle? And oh, and one last thing. Shishi reveals that although they cannot s defeat that Neo creature, there is one certain creature that may have the power of slowing down Neo or stopping it. And what's his name? His name is Don Slime, the King of Blue Grill, but also the appetite demon that was inside Ichiru. All makes sense now. How Ichiru managed to visit Blue Grill. Why Don Slime prevented Gigi from saying something about him. And maybe even why Don Slime seemed to be mad at Ichiru. Maybe he is in some Sundere madness, I mean, like saying, oh, why did you die on me? Or maybe he was just angry that he had a host uh, like Ichiru. But this shows again that once a uh, uh, host dies, the appetite demon can actually become a food spirit and possess a new. But that was actually confirmed earlier. But this also shows one other thing. Maybe, just maybe, do all the appetite demons have names? Yeah, I think they all have names. If Akashi has is called Neo and Ishiro was called Don Slime, although I'm still a bit confused, this I thought they were individual, but then again, the cycle of choosing a host in the gourmet cells are still confusing to me. So what could the rest of the four heavenly kings be called? Aka, no, given to the fact that the, the two demons inside Toriko call themselves blue and red, maybe their real names are Aka and Ao. But do give me your thoughts if you have any. Action is kicking in here.